Well, just a couple of weeks ago, the Syracuse Orange was in the middle of that five-game win streak when they rallied against North Carolina State for a dramatic victory. For the voice behind that dramatic play-by-play call, ESPN's Carl Rabbit. You are looking for a pick. He's not getting one. Rabbit is a look at college alum who will also be calling tonight's Syracuse game along with Dick Vitale at the Dome against Duke. I caught up with Carl this afternoon for this up-close conversation at the Newhouse Sports Media Center. Who was screaming louder, you or Alfonso? <laughs> it sounded like it was maybe two. Yeah. Oh, I think I kind of got in the first one, but then he couldn't, he couldn't quite believe what had happened. He can't be stopped tonight! And then he said, and nobody's going to stop him tonight. Something like that. Prior to it, oh, yeah, on that, that's right. Yeah, following that, that night. Time shot. Right. Nobody, nobody was going to stop him that night. And nobody, the way he was shooting, nobody, I mean, he was out of his mind. Where does that come from, right? The, the line you say? Um, that's probably just sports background and having competed at different levels and realizing at times, as a golfer, when somebody makes two or three birdies in a row, you, you just... You're, you're watching something that that even a defender can't prevent. I mean, on that night, it, it would be a shock if he were going to miss a shot. Carl Ravick has spent the last 24 years at ESPN. After years of being an anchor of Sports Center and host of Baseball Tonight, he's doing more and more play-by-play, including Duke Syracuse Tonight. It all started when we were classmates at Ithaca College more than 30 years ago. We obviously go back a long way. Ithaca College, what, what, what's your recollection? Is there any element of our time at Ithaca that you still carry with you today that helped you get to where you are doing what you do now? Some experience that I can talk about on TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. I can share. Just the stuff that you can share. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I, I would think that, that the experiences, and I tell this story a lot, um, and it's more about that this is an imperfect business and it's an imperfect job and how you handle the moments where things don't exactly go your way um, probably separates you from, from those that don't handle it very well. So I often tell the story of the time where you and I were working at Cable News Center 7 in Ithaca and, and two different stories. One of them is, is I believe, the, the set actually fell down on, on you and you handled that really well. And the other one was when you were doing the weather. That may have been at Ithaca College, but you described a, a particular low-pressure system using a word we can't use on TV, True. but I thought that was about as, as good and genuine, authentic television as that. And it's a very accurate forecast. <laughs> it's a very accurate forecast. So do you think it's worth encouraging students who are in this building or on the Ithaca campus or anywhere to continue to pursue their dreams and, and to be in this industry? Yeah, it would, it would be it would be impossible not to encourage it because in the same way that there's now no script on many of the shows and no script on any games, there is no script on path to success. Look at you guys. Yeah, we haven't changed it. We haven't changed it. It's Bob Maxson who does the weather in Connecticut. He's the other guy in the photo there. It's exciting news for Carl and the Ravage family, too. His son Sam is graduating from Pepperdine University this spring. He's already lined up a job doing play-by-play for the uh, Richmond, Virginia Flying Squirrels professional baseball (laughs) team. It turns out sports casting, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Not our like son. Can we yeah. even worry about the set? Uh, this down? set is fast and pretty brand well, new, but, but we're good. I got you covered. <laughs> <something happened. laughs> well, we are now done with our SU Duke coverage.